Terra, welcome back to the LMS. Congratulations on the successful season in WC last year. This time you raced, the last time you raced the LMS was in Force Power 2022, which you, Michelle and Dorian won, becoming the first female crew to win the LMS, the LMS race. How did that win in Portugal help you help the team in WC last season? This win in, uh, in the LMS Portimao in the end of 2022, if I remember well, was uh, a huge milestone for us. It was our big first uh, international win uh, with the GT cars and, you know, with, with Dorian and Michelle, we, we really felt it like a, a relief in the sense that we were quite a few on a few podium of that season the season before as well but never really on the top step and and you know like you at some point you start to feel like is it actually possible to achieve are we going to do it someday you know and uh, we had a quite similar situation with WEC. Uh the the first victory was always slipping away from us so the fact that we had that situation in the LMS before helped us to keep our cool, you know, stay focused and just knowing that when you put the hard work, when you are consistently at the front fighting for the podiums, at some point it will come. I say that uh, the fact that it came uh, in the last race of the season in Bahrain with the battle for the, t- the second place in the championship on was kind of cherry on the take on the cake. Um, but yeah, Portimao is definitely a great, uh, great souvenir. And uh, I liked uh, every single minute of that uh, meeting, that last meeting of the LMS for, for us. Obviously, this season you're doing LMS and WC yes. um, in LMGT3. How did that first race in Qatar go? Yeah, the first race of the week in Qatar went um, not as good as we would have hoped for, especially, you know, like we finished on a very big high in Bahrain uh, 23 season. Um, our expectation arriving there with the Lambo were cl- clearly high. Unfortunately, you know, um, it was a tough weekend. We never really uh, were in the window, in the pace to really fight at the front of the race. So at the end of the day, we knew that uh, we needed to just try to finish the race, get a few points, try to stay calm. It was a very long race. So um, uh, basically not doing any mistake, not taking penalties, make a clean race. Uh, We achieved that. So we were quite you know, happy with our performance, disappointed that it didn't allow us to, you know, fight in, in the position we want to fight for. Um, but you cannot be at the top of every single race you are doing in motorsport. Sometimes you need to uh, accept that uh, it's not your weekend. And I just hope that uh, in Imola, for the home race of the team, uh, we can do much better. So this season we've got LMGT3. What for you as a driver is the main difference between an LMGTE and an LMGT3? So yeah, indeed, now we have um, LMGT3 class, which is very, very much different from LMGTE that we were using in WEC and the LMS up to last season. Um, GT3 cars have a little bit less downforce. Uh, they have ABS, so they have an assistance in the braking system to avoid the, the locking uh, of, of the tires. Um, in general, I would say that these cars um, are somehow a bit simpler to drive so uh, we can expect that the the gaps between uh, the gentleman driver the amateur driver and the professional driver will get a bit closer um, because those those little assistants and the fact that you don't have to drive so much on the downforce of the car are typically where the professional driver are making the biggest difference on the other hand it makes the competition much higher because now everybody's going to be closer so a tense is going to be worth more in the LMGT3 than it was in the LMGTE. So um, somehow by making, you know, like the car a little bit easier to drive, it's going to make the, the races a bit more complicated for the competitions. You're racing a Lamborghini in WC, but you're racing a Porsche here in the LMS. What sort of challenge is that for you as a driver? Yeah, so this year we are sharing our time between the, the, the Lambo in, uh, in WEC and the, the Porsche in the LMS. So indeed it's a big challenge, but unf- Fortunately for us, it's a challenge we are familiar with. Basically, we were already doing it last year between the, the Porsche Racer and the, and the Lambo GT3. The year before, actually, we were on the Ferrari, but we had a GT and a GT3. So we were also switching from one car to another. Um, so I hope that this experience from the last few years will help us to face the challenge of this year. Um, it is not easy. It means that every single weekend it takes just you know, a little wake-up session. Um, you can sometimes get in your habits, you know, like you, you are comfortable in your habits with one car. You need to change them for the other cars. 
But I would say that with the practice, with the experience, that switch is coming faster and faster for all of us. And, and it's becoming less and less difficult. For sure, it's still a challenge. It can be an advantage sometimes because sometimes some experience that we gain from one car, we can replicate it on the other car. And I, I believe that when you are challenging yourself with that kind of, you know, like uh, technical stuff, and you'll become a better driver somehow. So, looking ahead to this weekend in Barcelona, we've just done a two-day test. How yes. did that go? So, yeah, indeed, we just finished uh, the prologue here of, um, of Barcelona and, and, and the first race of the ELMS season. Um, I would say it went okay. Uh, I'm, I'm never too... I want to be optimistic, but I'm, I don't want to be too uh, confident at the beginning of the season because we know nothing. We have no idea where is the competition, what they are doing for the lineups, the team. You know, it's been a year. We were not in the LMS, so a lot of things have changed. There's a lot of GT3s. Um, there will be also the challenge of sharing the track again with the LMP3s and the P2s. Um, so I would say that we need to relearn a little bit that cohabitation because now WEC is very different. Um, uh, but I, I would say also that during the test, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way we faced every little challenge that came up to us um, and staying calm. We know the crew, we are working with engineers that we know from the, the previous season and that's a, a massive strength of us. We know each other, you know, with Michel and Rael, it's been quite a few years we are sharing the car. Um, so I think this will help us to face whatever is coming at us. And specifically for this weekend, uh, I feel we, we are ready. Um, but I cannot wait to actually see all the cars on track at the same time and see where we are for real. So what are your thoughts on the circuit of Barcelona? Uh, what, and what is your favourite part of the track? Oh, OK. The circuit of Barcelona, it's an interesting technical track. Um, uh, obviously a Formula 1 track. So it means that it's... Um, it's a nice challenge for a driver because there's a little bit of everything, some technical corners, some slow corners, decent straight line. So it's, it's quite cool. I would say I like the, the, the new uh, end of the track in the last sector. So basically we had that annoying, extremely slow chicane before uh, where we had traffic jam during quali. Um, I, I like T13 much better now that they changed it. It's, it's kind of nice because... Uh, on a quali lap, for instance, uh, you know pretty much if you if you are doing a good lap or not, and you really have to name those two last corners. You can lose a lot of time um, just in there. You have to be really fast. The first one, you just lift the throttle and try to get as much speed as possible, but be careful to the track limit. So it's a nice challenge. LMGT3 is looking very competitive. Uh, what are your expectations for this weekend's race? Yeah, indeed, in the LMGT3 uh, this year, we have quite some competition, some very strong lineups, uh, very strong teams that we know some of them from, uh, from WEC, some of them from uh, ELMS uh, in the past. Um, ambitions are high because um, we, we, f we finished WEC last year with a second position, uh, vice world champion in endurance, for sure. It's, it was, it was you know, a, great, a great achievement, but we are still running after our first title. And I think this year we really want to achieve it in one of the championships we are taking part to. So indeed, uh, ELMS will be one of those championships. We will be pushing really hard to finally get a title as Iron Dames. To be a, a female lineup with an international title in motorsport would be awesome. Um, but, you know, we will start step by step, focused race by race. So let's do the practice, the quality, the race. Let's try to be as often as possible on the podium. Win a few one if we can and see where we end up in the end of the season.